Hey guys, thanks so much for joining uh, the Zoom meeting today. So today what I want to go over is I want to go kind of go through uh, website navigation and uh, just to kind of familiarize yourself with a little bit more of the website. So, and then whether or not this is posted as TBD. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you. And if you guys have any questions or any comments or anything in the meantime, go right ahead and just click, all right? Okay, so we're gonna go into the Avon website and you're gonna log into your account here, blah, blah. So here's your Avon website. So this is as if you're a brand new representative, you've never you've never sold Avon before and you're not familiar with the website. This is your first time logging into the website. And so here it goes. Okay, so um, on the website, a couple of the most important things is you need to know where to find your online brochures because with Avon, we have not only just physical brochures, but you actually have online brochures that you can use to share with your customers. If you, uh, and you can also share it through the Spark app too. So what you do is if you're on a regular PC, you go into products and go to shop e-brochures. All right. And here you'll see all the brochures are available. So at the very top here, you're going to see what's viewable by your representatives and customers. So viewable by both you and the customers that you send it to. And at the bottom here, you see viewable by representative only. So these are representative exclusive offers, which are amazing. Like there's some really great, amazing deals here. And I did touch base on the last meeting, um, some of the things there. So how to get this link is you can click here to get your e-brochure link, right? And so you can either set your e-brochure link for campaign seven or campaign eight. So if you want to send out this link and you want your customers to see that as campaign eight, you just click on campaign eight and they'll automatically generate it as a campaign eight link. Mm -hmm. Now I usually always keep it as a campaign seven link just because that's my current brochure. I want my customers to see the current brochure. If my client is interested in seeing the next brochure, I'll send them a separate link, which um, I get from my spark app. So the spark app, you just get it from your phone. It's a, uh, it's available on both Android. And I think there's a plugin that you can do it for Apple phones. Um, and it's a great app. I mean, you can send e-brochures out there. You can send out your, um, like different videos. You, you can send the, uh, like what's called invitations down to the website out there as well. So there's a lot of great information that you can send out from your spark app. And we'll do another whole segment on spark. So this, so to go on to, um, so that you know, when you check out the brochures, you click on it, as long as you have flash, you'll be able to see it open up. And the cool thing about this is that it's actually really nice because you can like kind of flip through the pages and things like this. And if you want to order anything, you can just scroll over the, the code, click on it, and you'll be able to put in the quantity and everything like that. All right. So that's fun. The other thing is, if you if you look at this little triangle sideways V button, if you click on that, you'll be able to see that you can actually email specific pages or post those specific pages onto Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and I don't know what Dig is, but you can apparently do it on Dig too. Or you can email it directly to your client. So let's say if I want to send out candles, like this one here, I'll put in my name, blah, blah, blah like Jessica, and I'll do this as a test one. So I, my my friend's name is Jesse, and then my friend's email is avon at jessicae.ca, which happens to, oh, no, sorry, that's my email. And then my friend's one is jessica at jessicae.ca, and say, wow, candles for sale, on sale. All right, and then you just click send, and you can just send out that specific page, right? Because if you, let's say, like, I have customers who love candles, so when they, I see candles on sale, I could send it that way as, as an example. Another way to do it is you can just do it directly from Spark, right? So always lots of great deals. Always make sure you know your brochures um, and also know like the type of deals. Like for example, this is a really great deal here, which is the $3.99 uh, lipstick. So this one here is actually really interesting for us to look at. So if we look at this particular deal, you'll see that it has a symbol, the circle with a star. So that means that this is the premium product. And as a premium product, that means that the customer has to purchase a minimum 
or a qualifying order before they can order this particular item. So if they want to order it regularly, they can order it uh, from this campaign, which is campaign seven at $10, or they can get it for only $3.99 with every $5 makeup purchase from these qualifying pages. So it's actually a really great way to add on to your customer's orders. And if they're like, uh, if they order, let's say page two, two, four, so if they order a mascara, it's $5.99, it's like, oh my gosh, wow, you actually qualify for the premium product. Would you be interested in choosing one of the lipsticks? Sticks, it's only $3.99. You save $6 per lipstick. That's an amazing deal. All right, so that's how I try to build my sales. Now, if that customer says no, what I do is I go to one of my VIP clients. I go to one of my, my super loyal customers and I say, hey, you know, I know that you don't you, you didn't order any of the makeup. However, um, I had another customer who didn't want this particular um premium purchase that they qualify for, do you want it instead? I can transfer it over to you. So that way you can also continue to build yourself. Your customer also feels like, oh wow, she's looking out for me, and then again, stays loyal to you. All right? Any questions? Yeah, Anything yeah. you want to add? That's very yeah. good. Thanks, Thank Phoebe. Okay, cool. Now, note that this premium product, though, um, anything with a circle at the start, our discount level for all representatives across the board, no matter what tier you're on, if you're new, PC, blah, 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 um, it's, you get 10% discount as opposed to your regular tier discount, okay? All right, so moving on. So that's the brochure. I'm just touching base really quickly on the brochure. We'll have another day where I go through the what's new and how to sell for me what's new on another meeting. Okay, so now if we're back on our homepage, so I'm going to keep referring back to our homepage because, I mean, I'm just going to pretend you just logged in and you haven't done anything else on your website, okay? So the next thing I want to go through quickly is how to place an order. So with your orders, you go to orders, create, and edit orders, and you'll see that I have currently three orders that are in submitted orders okay so what is the submitted order a submitted order is actually an order that I have put on reserve and so it's kind of like if I'm not shopping and I put things into my grocery cart and I kind of put on layaway so I tell them that oh you know I'll be right back for my order so that the order is I'm not taking it right away and I can go back and take things out and put more on again it's just on layaway so if you're looking at it from a computer sense it's kind of like uh, virtually Avon has taken that item off the shelf where they lowered their quantity for according to how many of that products that you already put in. You can take things out, put things in as you wish, as long as it's before your cutoff date. So we're going to do a really quick mock order. So I'm going to go change campaign. I will do it as campaign seven. I always name my campaign C7 test 2018. And I'm going to put select because I want the campaign seven. Now let's say I have a customer who wants to do a really quick order. She needs the order right away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, let's say, I want the delivery on Friday the 16th. So if I want the delivery on Friday the 16th, that means I have to submit my order in by tonight, uh, which is the, third, wow, it's the 13th already. It's the 13th of March. Okay, now if I was like, okay, she doesn't need to tell, let's say Thursday, then I can always do, excuse me, on Monday, which means that my order needs to be submitted by the 14th, okay? So let's say we do this one the 16th and I click on continue. Now it's going to take me to an order page. There's two ways you can order from the from from Avon. You can either type in the um, the product numbers. Wait, is that the right code? I don't think that's the right code. That's not the right code. 1-800-388. Yes, okay. So for example, the wash off waterproof mascara. She wants two of those. Okay, so I put in the quantity two. The little green check mark means that it is in fact available. So now if like before, ahead earlier, I put in 288. If it says that this item is not available and it doesn't say a particular product name, that means that that product code that you put in is actually incorrect. So either the customer gave it to you incorrectly or the product is actually, um, it was labeled incorrectly in the brochure. And if it's labeled incorrectly in the brochure, you can always click over here, which is the product number corrections, and it'll tell you what items, um, and let's say campaign kits are incorrectly, I can't think of the word, ah, printed, <laughs> incorrectly printed, okay? So that's one tip there. Now, another thing you can do is after you add to cart, you can go into your e-brochures and then you can actually literally just order from the actual book itself. So I'm going to go back to that particular lipstick deal because I want to show you something here. So let's say I want to order one of these. Okay. And I go add to order. All right. So all, what I, all I did 
was I scrolled over the product number. It turns pinkish red, depending on your screen configuration. You put on how many you want, you go add to cart, okay? Because I already did it, I'm not gonna do it again. So now what I do is I go on to, hey, Lydia, you're on, yay, hi, Lydia. Lydia's my newest rep. Lydia, say hi to the team. I don't know if you can hear me, Lydia. You might need to add in your audio. Okay, honey? Okay, so. Once I do that, what I do is I double click on cart. Now what I want to show you here is when you double click on the cart, what you're going to notice here is remember how that deal was if they order a certain amount, like over uh, $5 in pages, those items are going to be at, um, the lipstick will be at $3.99. Now you'll see it as $10.99 right now because it hasn't updated the offer. So this will change once you go to the next part. So then go to continue. So this is where you order your brochures. If you order one pack of brochures, one pack is 10 books. And so that means that you're, you're getting them for $10.65 per 10 brochures. Now that's actually really, really expensive. You don't, 10 brochures won't get you very far to be. Just if you want to achieve like gold or PC, you want to order more brochures. So let's say I'm going to do, let's say, five packs of brochures, so five brochures. Now it's gonna say $52, and, sorry, $53.25. However, once I add it to my cart, okay, and it's going to render for a year. Oh, there we go. Then we go like, oh, there's always smooth all over. So they'll have other deals here as well that you can, you can uh, take a look at if you want to. I'm just gonna move on for now, and I'm going to go to update offers and continue. So after I click on update offers and continue, what's going to happen is, oh, look at that. You see that the lipstick went from $10 to $4.99. And then the brochures, instead $10 and what was it, 65 cents each, it drops down to $4.35. So that means for just over double the price, you can get five times the amount of brochures. That's amazing. Like that is not only is a deal, but if you work your brochures properly, each brochure that you have could actually bring you up to like 20 to $25 in sales as long as you're doing proper follow-up and you're not just like book dropping. You want to be able to contact, like connect with your customers. So by connecting with customers, it doesn't always have to be like a phone call. It's like, hey, you know, what do you want to order? It could just be something as simple as a text message or it could be like a newsletter that I do. And if you want one on a, a tutorial on how to do the newsletter, I'm more than happy to do another um, virtual meeting like this on how to do the how to do the newsletter or you guys can come up for wine and cheese and we'll do it at my house okay so now yes okay so oh I'm getting free brochures nice <laughs> so um, so then you'll see here you'll see that uh, things are discounted now qualifying volume is how much the the order count as the amount that the order count as which means that it counts towards your gold level or your PC level that's what it the qualifying order is. Now your discounted price is $31.93. So the taxes are always charged on the qualifying volume, okay? And then there's shipping and then there's the total. So this total here is the amount that I need to pay. So right now I need to pay more than um, whatever, but because it's because the order is so small. So in order to submit this order, you have to go in and put in the number of the customer serve. I'm going to put that I served one client and I go submit. And what this means is that Avon is going to put all of these items on reserve now at 1158 PM tonight, because that's my cutoff date time right here. At that time, Avon's going to take that order and start processing the order. But until that time, I can still go back in and work on this order. Sorry. <coughs> I'm still sick. Sorry. I've been sick for three and a half weeks now. Ugh. Okay. So, any questions on that? <coughs> nope. Nope. Good. Okay. So, now let's say you need to go in and delete that order. So, deleting the order is super simple, or just changing things on the order is super simple. So, I go into where it says submitted order. You never want to have a draft order. Draft orders are no bad. Yuck, eh, no draft orders, okay? No <laughs> draft orders. Draft orders means that it is a rough copy, I screw it on my page and I can lose it like that. Because Avon's not going to take those items off of the shelf for you as a, as a reserved item. All they're doing is just like, oh, it's like it's a rough draft, we're not gonna look at it until you click submit. Once you click submit, you can go back in and again, you can still go back in and change it. The draft order means nothing happens. They're not even gonna open it. Okay, so it's important, never ever draft orders. Draft orders are bad, 
Okay. If you have a draft order, I'd probably call you like, Hey, you have a draft order or I'll text you or I'll message you. Okay. So now to delete this order, super fast, super quick. I just go here. I can, I, you have to click over to your cart. You can either click on delete entire order, or if you're just deleting one item, you can delete select it. I'm just going to delete the entire order because I only have six minutes left of this of this meeting before I get canceled out. Okay, so I'm going to delete entire order. Yes, I want to delete everything. And voila, c'est tout. It is done. Okay, so now what happens after that? Is the other thing I want to show you guys um, is your info center campaign support. So you know how the on the Facebook they have all those banners and things like that. So this helps to make, you know, um, if you post it onto your Facebook, if you post it onto your newsletter, it just makes you look a little bit more legit and it makes it look, everything look really professional. So if you go to info center here, you go over to business, no, campaign support. I lied, I lied, I'm a liar, it should be here. Yes, okay, so then you go into social media library and you click see all. You can see all of these social media ones right here. So there's the ones on Instagram, there's the ones on the Beauty IQ blog, Avon on YouTube, you can find me on YouTube. Um, but you can also go to my Avon Canada's one. So what I usually like to do, and I wanted to show you how I do it real quick today, is I go to the Facebook cover. So this is what the cover looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go save image as, and I'm going to put C7 cover, blah, blah. Then I'm going to go over here to, is this my page? No, this is your page. Sorry. Feeny, oh wait, you can't do that. Uh, what am I doing? What I'm doing, I'm going Coco Pelli, Division A. Okay, so if I go over here and I click on here, I can change my group cover to upload photo and here, here, open. Ta -da! It is done. Okay, that's all you have to do. Super simple. Okay, now, no, I want that thing to go away. I, yes, thank you. I need to save it. Oh, did I click save yet? Sorry, I have too many things. Oh, thank you, Miss Feeney. Okay, so then, now, going back to here. So that's really simple, it's really easy. Try to change it every single campaign to keep your page really fresh, because the worst thing you want to do on social media is to look like you have a stagnant page. So if you have a stagnant page, people are like, oh, they haven't checked their, their Facebook thing in years. Like, I try to post, if I possibly can, every day on my social media platforms. Like, on Instagram, I post on Instagram. You guys know I post on their team pages, my personal page, as well as my... Bit, uh, the Avon public Avon page as well. So I try to post every day if I possibly can, unless I'm having a weird day, which <laughs> happens too. Okay, so that's that info center. Um, if you need, ever need any general general blah, 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 general information, you go here. There's tons of general information here, like such as our uh, the payment due dates, um, the tax planning guide worksheet. You guys going to be needing that probably not this year, probably not until next year. Um, and then all, of course, like all of our shipping fee structures, a postcode lookup, blah blah blah. People, people have questions about um, animal testing. All that information is here for you. Now, other things, good things to look at are ooh, ooh what did I do? Oh, the earning opportunity, leadership earning opportunities. Now, if you find somebody who wants to join your team or who says, hey, Monique, I'm interested in selling Avon. Can you help me? And you say, yes. <laughs> and of course, Feeney and I will be here to help you out as well. Same thing with you, Lydia. If there's any, anybody that's like, oh, I'm interested in selling Avon. Can I do it too? And you say, of course you can. And then we're here to help. So all you need to do is you go to sales leadership and you go to representative lead and you put in everybody's information after you click on uh, create invite, okay? So this is on a computer. Now, if you're doing it from your phone, I need to warn you on how to do it on your phone. When you do it on your phone, you need to make sure you double check so that it does say representative, because sometimes it randomly just switches over to a customer invite, and then you have to call head office, get the email scramble, blah, blah, blah. So that is a bug. They know about it, they just got to fix it. Okay, so if it just randomly will switch over to become a customer invitation as opposed to a representative information. Uh, Invitation. Uh, I Am I speaking add, too fast? I have one thing. If you see. use the phone, you better use the Google Chrome. Then request yes. the desktop. 
So it will be the same. Oh, that's a great tip. Thank you, Feeney. So Feeney was saying that if you're using your phone, right, um, there's like three little dots on the top left hand, uh, sorry, top right hand corner it is for on my phone anyways. You can click on that and go select desktop website and then it'll change it from a mobile page onto a, uh, like a PC or a laptop page. It just makes the navigation a lot easier. Okay. Um, all right. So well, one last thing. Now, returns will always happen part of the business. Now, the great thing about Avon is that we can also, we have a um, discounted rate for returns. And so it's $5 for the return label for a huge Avon box, as long as it's under 15 kgs, right? So it's just your regular Avon box. And if you need a Canada Post label, Canada Post um, label, all you do is you go, you type in under the search here, Canada Post, and this is what you want to order, okay? It's gonna say $15, but it's only, it's actually only $15 if you order more than two in one campaign. So I usually order two every campaign, so I have a couple of extra ones in case I do have a random large order or if one of you ladies need it, then I have one on hand. Um, but it'll, it'll, it's only $5 per label until you surpass two within one campaign. So for example, in campaign seven, I can order two at $5 each. If I order a third one, it's $15. Same thing in campaign eight. In campaign eight, I can order two more. Nine, I can order two more. Da, 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 da. All right. Okay. So that is my super quick spiel on how to navigate your website really quickly. Um, think, oh, sorry. One more thing. Oh my gosh. There's always one more thing. Take a, make sure you take a look at your business tab because with your business tab, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to see how much you sold thus far. So you'll see, um, like for example, here year to date, which means from campaign one to campaign. Now I've sold $7,152.70. I need another 2,400 blah, blah, blah. And until I reach the PC goal of 10 grand. All right. It also shows you your current campaign, what you're at and what their suggested goal for you is. All right. So that is something really important, especially if you want to achieve gold or above for, especially for your first six, ca uh, six campaigns. All right. So now we go into general question and answer period. Do you guys have five minutes? Any questions? No, that's a lot of info. I know, I know. I, I will, because we started a smidge late, so I'm like yeah. trying, I actually had like two more things I wanted to go over, but we can do that uh, some other time. Now, yeah, do you have, do you need to have anything you want to add? I said the congratulations, you have a new team member. Oh, thank you, Lydia, we love you. Lydia, say hi. Oh, Lydia just started. That's yeah, Lydia literally just started. Lydia, wow. this is... Yeah, this is Feeney. Feeney's the head of our Coco Belly team. And Monique is also, Monique, how many campaigns have you been with us for? Like maybe six? Four now. Four? Oh, wow. Oh, I we started have a campaign three. Oh, so are yeah. you going to achieve gold? Are you Not yet. Not yet, but there's still time. I'm working on it. Do you, okay, you know what? Why don't we private message each other afterwards? Because I can always go through um, what kind of things might be able to help you build your business um, and to build your sales if you'd like to. Okay. So working, um, it's to change the date for the submitted order. Okay. Do you change want to show date. just uh, one second? Yeah, sure. Does it, of a submitted order, if you want to change a date, is that what yes. you're saying? Yes. Okay, I'm going to choose my campaign eight last one because that has no customer orders in it. So from here, if you want to change the date, I so saw what, sorry, I should re rewind. I go too fast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm always rushing. Okay. <laughs> so if you want to change the date of an existing order, what you do is you go down to your submitted order. So these are orders that are not in draft. Again, draft is bad. Okay. You go into the order that you want to change the date to. So I go into my campaign, uh, campaign eight last order, because I know I don't have any customer orders on that one. It's all just for me. You go into your cart. Okay. And after you click your cart, you'll see that this little default button went from gray to pink. So I can click on that default button. And it's like, yes, yeah, sure. I want to modify my order. This could lose, uh, I'll, I'll save this part of a second. So that is the same. I, I, want, I still want to my address. But now instead of having it delivered on the 9th of April, let's say if I want it delivered onto the 6th, I can change it to that. All right. So then from here, I have to make sure I always go continue, continue, submit. Every time you go into your order, I always do suggest do continue, continue, submit because you never know. Now, the only thing I do, um, very good. 
what's the word I'm looking for? The only thing I do warn you on is that if you change the submit date of your order, what happens, or even if you go in and you change the quantity of a particular product, what happens is Avon takes the entire thing out of reservation and re-reserves it for you. So during that little time period, what could happen is if it's a really hot selling item or if it's an item that's in clearance, what they might do is they might actually take it, it might be taken by somebody else before you end up finishing submitting your order. So if you're going to change the date, I know it's a little bit labor intensive. What I do suggest is open up a new order first retype in everything with the quantity that you want and then everything pulls through.